It translates to Our Lady's Church. It's the second oldest church in Munich, only behind the altar Peter, which is back over there. And it was created in the 15th, 16th centuries. Um, those domes are really the kind of central landmark of Munich. Whenever you're looking up and you see those two, you'll know that you're here. Okay. 
Welcome to the Rath House Glockenspiel. The official like building is the Rath House, which is basically the town hall. And it's the new town hall because the old one was burnt down. And the building was finished in 1908 with the completion of the Glockenspiel. And so, say we, say we did a little time traveling, went back to 1908. We'd be here for the first ever show of the Glockenspiel. And on top is the marriage of Duke Wilhelm the fourth, or the fifth to Renata of Lorraine. And their wedding is yeah! So this is uh, St. Michael's Church. And thousands of years ago, around this time of when it was built, it was the Protestant Reformation. So Martin Luther was nailing his 95 theses on the wall. And this church was actually built in repercussion of that, trying to saying that the Catholics are still on top and uh, that they still have power even though the Protestant Reformation is coming. So that's kind of the backstory of it. Why they chose St. Michael for the church actually was a specific reason because... Okay, this is the Ohel Jacob Synagogue. And to start off, so I'm sure all, you, all of you guys have heard the story of the exile when, the, when they fled from Egypt and came to the Promised Land. And they also used tents, which is where the story of the Jacob's tent came from. And that top part right there is shaped based off of Jacob's tent and Ohel Jacob as the leader. All right, so I'd like to give a toast to this great first day that we're having in Germany. And I hope that we have a great time on the trip. I would be in trouble. So, <laughs> uh, it was a joke, but the very special people, very traditional people. I have a coat in my pocket! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>